The UNSC may bring out all their tools, gadgets, and gear to slow down their foes, but they shall not forget that the Banished has their own weapons and machines. From Mega Constructs Halo, this is the Breacher Exosuit. Why should Decimus have all the fun? With all the other UNSC-based exosuits, the Banished should have their own. So the Breacher exosuit was released, a set that seems perfect to army build, especially with destructive brutes manning it. The set includes a gray base plate with metallic and dark gray swirls, and a mauler molded in dark gray plastic. The Banished Brute, or what we like to call on this channel, DOOM BRUTE, uses more dark red than dark gray, much like the ones released in the Arctic Jackrabbit. I love these brutes. They just seem tough, especially given that helmet. Wait for it. Craig reveal. Dark gray undersuit with dark red armor, a slightly different tone of gray for the skin shown, and some silver touches including the helmet. Also two different shoulder designs. It's possible to build the exosuit and leave it complete, but it'll need a pilot to function. Few things to note, the torso armor on the brute is harder to slip on, and on my copy this arm pops off too often. Otherwise, it's the same build. Put the arms in the right way, disconnect the suit, take off the armor, put them in, zoom up, and wow, that's perfect. Let's remove the weapons to get a good look at this. I love that dark red and gray suited for the Banish, but it gives it a dark demeanor. I especially love how the helmet's round shape fits with the new torso. Even with the colors and the silver on the side, it's like it's all a part of him. That silver continues to the lower legs as well, giving it a damaged style. Not a lot of parts attached, the back seems simple, but why clean it up? This is perfect for the Banished. I could see this in the hundreds taking on UNSC Marines without a care. One issue I have is that the spikes on the Brute inside tend to get stuck within the armor itself and cause some slight complications, but the articulation seems unaffected. The set uses multiple ball joints, and as long as you're careful about the shoulders, the figure inside still allows for the joints to function. Alright, now we bring out the weapons, all using generally known parts, but look at that shield! So basic in concept, but the transparent red surrounding the surface looks incredible. You can imagine it lighting up with a burning energy, protecting the figure with a white shape. That's not all, the gravity hammer brick base design is pretty cool to see. Not the most stable weapon, I wouldn't use it for intentionally smashing anything, but looks can be deceiving and it looks like it could hurt. I also admire how they got the general shape so I can recognize immediately what this is. The secondary build swaps the arm for a cannon. This is probably one of the better alternate builds and, you know... Any excuse to get a second banished suit to pair up won't be argued. This is a solid addition to the Mega Constructs toys and makes me think they should look into using this idea more often. I love the weapons, I love the power of it, I love the color. Although it should have been made to fully suit the figure, I can't complain about having this. Don't tease the brutes. If you see them in the wild, curl up and cry.